And once again, we have a first from Happy Wings in 2023 with this little colorful ATR72. And we can take a closer look at this aircraft model thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an ATR-72-600 of Binter. At the front of the box, we have a cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside. And on top of the box, we have the Binter branding. The back side of the box, once more, a pretty big letdown from Happy Wings, very uninspired. So the only thing worth focusing on here is simply the fact that this is a limited edition. And here she is, the ATR-72-600 in the current standard livery of Binter or Binter Canaries. Now, this is an aircraft model collectors have been asking Harper for for years. Quite interesting given that it is definitely more a niche airline. Binter, of course, being headquartered at the Canary Islands of Spain and mainly operating in that area of the world. So it doesn't really get much around, but it has been heavily requested. And in 2023, Harpa has finally managed to release their first scale 500 aircraft model of that airline. And we are definitely looking forward to it. So let's see what it actually can offer collectors. So we start our look at the aircraft model with a look at the tail section where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Binter Canaries color scheme, as well as the full registration code of the aircraft. Now on the ATR, the horizontal stabilizer is of course placed on top of the vertical stabilizer and I think overall HEPA has done a very lovely job with the detailing of that part of the aircraft. On the fuselage we then have the Spanish flag and the flag of the European Union and then this writing which I guess is not really the name of the airline but I mean basically says what it is I mean the airline of the Canary Islands but in Spanish and I won't pronounce it because I'll just make a fool of myself. And then at the very tail of the aircraft we also have this little detail which I believe is a beacon or strobe light. Then at the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we have the writing of Binter. We also find the web address of the airline. We have of course the main cargo hatch of the ATR and then we also find an emergency exit as well as the name of the aircraft and finally also a static port. So quite a lot of detailing for such a little aircraft. Then of course the cockpit section also has the cockpit windows with the window wipers and above that we find the emergency hatch for the cockpit. Quite lovely. Now the nacelles of the turboprop engines have been kept in all white but we have some lovely detailing on the blades themselves and we also find some printed details if we look underneath the wing here. So that's quite awesome. And of course as usual with Happy Wings, these turboprop aircraft do also have movable blades. A quick look at the fuselage on the other side reveals another emergency exit and from there we can move on to the wings which I think are okay detailed however some of the details have kind of faded away by the white paint which is a shame. The underside of the wings I think that's pretty decent physical detailing and here we also find the full registration code of the aircraft once again. Then we should also take a quick look at the landing gear that is the reworked uh, standard landing gear that Harper has been using for quite some time now on their ATRs and it looks really brilliant I think. The front landing gear yes is a bit wide but other than that I think it looks pretty well except of course for the missing printer details. On the belly of the aircraft we then find a hole in the fuselage for a stand which is not included with the aircraft model. It doesn't really destroy any details but again why even add it. And then finally here on the side of the fuselage we have this little printed detail. We do of course also have this on the real aircraft but I'm not quite sure what it is. If you know let me know in the comment section below. So there we have it, the ATR-72-600 in the current standard delivery of Binter Canaries from Harper Wings at scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? I mean, firstly, I'm just really happy that Harper has finally managed to release this aircraft model sporting the Binter livery. I think it is awesome. We've been waiting for quite some time and now finally by the end of 2023, we have the aircraft model in our hands. So that's great. I do also very much hope that it won't be the last Binter aircraft model in scale 500. I very much hope that Harper will realize the E2 of the airline because I think that could be really, really awesome. But the ATR itself here, I think is a quite lovely little aircraft model. I mean, the amount of detailing HAP has managed to add to the ATR, I think is actually quite nice. But, and that has also to be said, is that I don't think HAPA has managed to get a single color on this aircraft correct perhaps apart from the blacks and the blue of the European flag. When we compare the colors on the real aircraft, they are much more vibrant than what we get on Harper's model, where everything seems 
many tones much more darker and much more matte in its well profile. But when it comes to the physical detailing, that is something I have always liked with Happy Wings on the ATRs. Yes, of course, the front landing gear is a bit wide, but other than that, I really don't think there are that many things you can really critique, especially considering how tiny the ATR in scale 500 really is. So overall, I would say fairly solid work by Happy Wings. The ATR is great, a shame about the colors, but still I would say it is worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.